Okay, this is A2 Pure Notes, and we're on chapter 5, and we're taking a wee look then at some functions. So, any relationships which take one element of one set and assigns it to one, and only one element of a second set is said to be a function. For example, here's some pupils and the marks they got in a test. Uh, and so, Anne got 4, Carol got 4, Bob got 2, and David got 5. Just a few wee definitions for us here. Then, so the domain or Anne, Bob, Carol and David. That's where we start off from. The range. So what numbers did they get effectively? Um, so in this case it's going to be 2, 4 and 5. And the codomain were all the possible options that they could have had. And that of course then is 1, 2, three, four, and five. Uh, so note, a function can map more than one element of the domain onto the same element in the codomain. For example, both Anne and Carol um, got four. Such a function is said to be many to one, because there's many going from here into the one element here. Functions which the element of the domain is mapped onto a different element of the range are said to be one to one. So one to one would hopefully make sense. One goes to one and only one of the other one. Relationships which occur, which are or one to many, can occur, but from our definition above, they are not functions. Um, so, this one here, um, our domain, of course, is A, B, and C. Our range is W, X, and Y. And our codomain is W, X, Y, and Z. Here, our domain, let's move it up a bit, is A, B, and C. Our range is W and Z. Our codomain is W, X, Y, and Z. Um, this one here isn't a function, and hopefully then you can see why. Because from here it has to go to one and only one element. A is going to 2, B is going to 2, and C is going to 2 as well. So this one here is not a function. Um, and that's just the basic sense of our 